Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. Jet stream is plowing into the Pacific Northwest right now and a lot of disorganized moisture in Washington, Oregon now moving into Idaho and some of that's going to be spilling into Montana later tonight and into tomorrow morning. I still have my eye on two uh, key areas, one around West Yellowstone, Yellowstone National Park, and the other is Lookout Lolo Lost Trail Pass. So the closer you get to these two bullseyes for some moderate heavy snow, uh, that's where you're going to find the bigger travel impact. So advisories and warnings are fairly widespread, but as you move into southwest Montana, Yellowstone National Park still under a winter storm warning for some moderate accumulations in gusty winds. That includes Island Park as well. But again, not the entire area of, of Beaverhead, Madison, Gallatin County is under winter weather advisories, mainly from Big Sky down towards West Yellowstone, including uh, Reynolds Pass and Targhee Pass and out towards the Wisdom Lost Trail areas along the Montana Idaho state line. These areas could see some accumulating snow and some gusty winds and travel impacts are possible overnight into tomorrow morning. So around midnight, we're picking up some increasing clouds and some mountain snow showers, but it's very disorganized through a better part of tomorrow. So a bigger push of snow is trying to move into, into eastern and southern Idaho. Uh, by the time we get into early Saturday morning, but not a lot here for southwest Montana. So I think our mountains are going to be impacted more so than the valley floor, but gusty winds are going to continue to blow, especially in wind-prone areas, and that might create some minor blowing snow issues. So again, snow accumulation not expect to be significant, but you might pick up several inches around Wisdom. You might pick up another inch or two around uh, West Yellowstone, around two to four inches of additional snow is possible around Cook City. Butte warmed up today ahead of this storm system. 40 degrees, that's a well above average high, and that low is closer to a normal daytime high. So 36 right now, good visibility and a little bit of wind. Bozeman, under some partial clearing at this hour, 39 degrees, hit a high today, of about 10 degrees above average, around 44 degrees. Just a little bit of Arctic air still clips the northeast corner of Montana, but the rest of the state enjoying some milder temperatures along with some gustier winds with the strong west-southwest flow aloft. So teens and 20s here in the overnight, scattered snow showers could develop, especially over mountains and passes by tomorrow morning. Winds are still expected to be pretty brisk in many areas. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. A little bit of valley snow is possible, but this is mainly a mountain-driven weather pattern. So just watch those mountain passes if you're going to be traveling over the next 24 hours. Mostly cloudy skies after midnight. And again, increasing snow showers around Big Sky West Yellowstone by morning and tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, not quite as warm, but still low to mid 30s in many areas and winds picking up again around 10 to 20, especially in the afternoon. So the extended outlook has a slight chance for snow, but windier conditions for Bozeman tomorrow. Colder highs and lows coming this weekend and that spills over into the first half of next week, but mostly dry starting Saturday through most of next week into the following weekend. Uh, for Butte, again, a low probability, but there could be a few snow showers off and on tomorrow, along with gusty winds, but colder highs and colder lows are scheduled to begin this weekend and continue into next week. And in fact, that will push you uh, closer to average for morning lows. Dylan, low probability snow, but gusty winds are likely to continue Friday and quieter weather over the weekend. And often on snow showers for West Yellowstone Friday into Saturday morning. And again, by Monday, colder highs and colder lows planned here as well. All right, thank you, Mike. So it looks like we'll need some of those warm sweatshirts and blankets for tomorrow. Because, Nick, you'll be at the game. You might need one of those, too. 24 hours away. Mm -hmm. I'll be bundled up outside. We've got the, a look at Austin Peay coming up next.